Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, here we successfully complete our edit and update functionality for the admin. Right, so now in this video, I want to complete that our delete functionality and also when you will be deleted, that means this user will be deleted. This user related, our role also should be deleted from to this table. Okay, now let's do that work for doing this that is in our all admin page. So I want to go to that or all admin. I want to create another new route that will be as a delect admin and also here that will be another requested ID. So now I want to create it that will be just like our edit. I copy it and after that I paste it. Now I name it as a delect admin, right? So that will be as a delect admin. I want to add it so that will be as a delect admin URL. I want to use it as a delect. Okay, that will be as a delect admin or also they have another requested ID. I want to create another new method as a delect admin. Okay, now this type of one of the method I want to create in our admin controller. If you go to that our admin controller here after that, I want to create another new one that will be as a public and then function method name will be as a delect admin. Okay, great. Now here, here that will be our requested ID. I simply get that our requested ID and then i want to take another variable as a user now first of all i want to get that our user data so that will be our user model i want to find or fail okay find or fail our requested id so it will be get that our requested id and then i want to use that same condition that i have done before as if that will be as a not okay not is null not is null when that will be get that our user specific id when that will be not null that means they have some of the user so then i want to do this user data i want to remove okay with this user i want to call that our delete function that's all okay then that will be actually deleted and now I want to display some of the notification message. After that, that will be displayed some of the notification as a admin user deleted, deleted successful, and it will be written direct to the back page. Now that will be the back page. Okay, friend, I hope everything is very, very much clear to you. Great. Now let's check this out. If you now click as a save all, I want to run our optimize okay optimize is running successful and now if you go i want to refresh it and also now that should be removed from here right now there are the three you can see there is another one as a user i have already assigned it because here i have already assigned as a super admin now that is our user model as a one role as a one great so now i want to do and remove our 16 maybe if you go to that out 16 uh, here i have created another new user Mm, our new user as a test admin and id as a 16 right now that should be a remove and also this related our role id also should be removed now let's check this out if you now go i want to remove this like as a test admin i want to remove it click as a yes delete it hmm, you can see there is a new user uh, deleted successful that should be also deleted from our user table if you refresh it yeah you can see that is successfully removed from here and also this will be removed from to this position refresh it hmm you can see that is also now successfully deleted from our user has role all right great great so friend here we done a lot of the work but why we are using it now everything will be very clear so now that is our user i have created that role permission i have assigned that some of the role for a specific this user right why i'm actually using it so now with this admin user that is on the role so now with this role i want to do i want to privilege all that our menu okay you can you privilege that menu that is our some of the another menu okay here everything one by one you can add some of the privilegeation for access all that menu for the different user so how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video